Today I'm going to be working on restoring an axe that I had lost and it was laying out by my wood pile for about a year and a half. Uh, two years ago, I think, I went to the Paul Bunyan show in uh, Southern Ohio and we were checking stuff out. It's really a fun time if you've never been to that. Highly encourage it if you're into like anything with firewood related or forestry. Um, but anyway, when we were there, I wanted to pick up a small um, axe um, and I wanted to get something that was good quality, something that was American made. And so right before we left, um, I came across the booth with a guy named Rooster and he was there uh, repping for Council Tool. I can't remember which booth it was. But anyway, uh, Council Tool was American made product. They had some on hand and I really liked, it was called a, a boy's ax, like a utility ax or a, an outdoors ax for boys. And it was basically the same type of an axe head, but it was on a 28 inch long um, handle. So for a boy, it would be an axe. For a grown up, it was kind of like in between. It was like a, a, a hatchet with a long handle. But it was really comfortable to use, really nice looking. Um, so we bought it, used it, loved it. And then one day when I was out by the wood pile, I went to stick it into a log and just to kind of hold on to it. Totally didn't pay attention and I overshot the log and I smacked the hickory handle hard enough that I cracked it and it just split and fell. And I was working and I thought, oh, I was busy in the middle of stuff and I thought I'll grab that in a little bit. Forgot to grab it and then a bunch of firewood got piled on top of where I thought I had left it and I didn't get that uncovered till this year. And so I found it and it's in a really bad state of disrepair. So let's take a look at what this looks like and I'm gonna try my best to uh, fix this up so it looks a lot better here. Let me take the camera off. And we'll, this is how I found it. So the ax head is pretty nasty. The handle is shot, this here where it's a hard break that's right where I cracked it and this is all coming apart so I really like this axe so I'm gonna and plus it was like 60 bucks I think so I want to get this fixed up so I'm gonna work on cleaning this up and I bought another handle um, at the local hardware store I think it's going to fit it's going to be close enough if I have to modify it I will but we'll work on this and not really going to do uh, much music or talking we're just gonna I'll let you sh see how we go and I've never done this before I've seen some videos online but this is my effort Man, I finally got that out of there. <clears throat> that took forever. So what's kind of unique about this, not that I've done any other ax heads or anything, but like inside the eye of this, there's little grooves, like little ridges that are in there. And I think 
when you drive the, the handle in there, that really just acts like a wedge too. Like when you, uh, it just presses against it. So it made it extra hard to get out. So there really was no epoxy. There could have been some wood glue, but that baby was in there. All right, so now we're gonna work on getting the head cleaned up. All right, so I've got this axe head down. It's looking pretty good. The surface rust is off of it. Um, I basically spent about, I don't know, 40 minutes with 120 grit sandpaper and just kind of working that down. Um, there's some really nice videos online for people that will take these and spend like eight hours buffing this down with different grades of sandpaper clear up to like 4,000 grit and then they do a buffing compound. I'm not gonna do that. I don't have eight hours. I'm not looking for a showpiece. This is a work piece and I'm just not gonna spend the time. I got too much other stuff to do. So if you're interested in that and you think it's cool to put a mirror finish, check out some other videos. So what I'm gonna do now is move on to fitting the handle on this. It's a hickory handle. It's not an expensive one. Went down to Ace Hardware, um, you know, there's something to be said about the orientation of the grain. You want to go run in parallel with the handle. There's a lot of stuff I had seen about that, but I came across a good website uh, with a quote from uh, the former uh, founder of, uh, I think it's called like Grandsfort Brooks. It's the Swedish ax maker that's very famous. And he talked about that, you know, and he said that it's just with American hickory, the way that the, the grain is, they've never had axes come back that are split because of bad grain or knots in it or the orientation and all that. And he said the uh, Department of Agriculture or the Forestry Department in the United States has done studies on it. So I'm not gonna get too bent out of shape. I know some people really get caught up in that. And maybe if I was a professional uh, forester or competitive forestry, you know, for um, wood sports or something, I might get into that. But for $12 on American Hickory Handle, um, I'm just gonna, put this on there and I think most of it is just from misuse or abuse you know I'm just gonna use this to um, maybe split some kindling at a campsite uh, to pound a wedge into a tree when I'm when I'm dropping it or when I'm bucking uh, pieces up and I want to drive a wedge in there or split something simple so I'm not looking for uh, to drop you know two hundred dollars onto an axe um, some of the handles that were a better grade were like $30 plus $10 shipping. It's just to me, it's not worth the investment. But the one thing I am gonna do, this has um, 
some sort of maybe a little bit of a lacquered finish. So I'm going to quickly sand this finish off and I'm going to fit the head on here and then I'm going to put boiled linseed oil um, on this handle and let it soak. Um, I think that's a really good preservative. I've done that with our work tools around the garden and it's held up really good and it's got a good finish on it. So I'm going to do that and let's check it out. All right, so we're gonna mark the top so I don't get this disoriented. And I just, I double checked, I looked up on the website to see how this goes on with the USA stamped in. It goes like that. So we're gonna get this fitted in here. It's a little bit too tight now, so I'm gonna sand this down and get this up in here and then we will um, take this wedge wood wedge and the two little um, aluminum wedges and we'll go from there. Then the last step is we're going to mix two parts mineral spirits. to one part boiled linseed oil. And that'll help this penetrate. Just give it a quick little mix. Okay, well I got her done and took about a day and a half. I let the uh, boiled linseed oil soak in. A good thing to remember for boiled linseed oil on your handles is do it once a day for a week, once a week for a month, and every month for a year. And then you just have to do it once a year after that. Um, so I've got my work cut out for me on this. It's only been two days. Um, but it turned out really well. Um, you know, I've never done this before, but I can say that anybody can do it if I can do it with real basic tools. And if you are uh, got a better workshop than I do and more skills, you can even make it a lot nicer than I did. But this is a good, functional, usable, everyday axe for me for part of my uh, firewood kit, and I'll, I'll keep this with me. Um, I did go ahead and wood burn a name and phone number in it in case I drop it somewhere. Uh, somebody would be kind enough to return it to me. But it looks pretty cool, and I think you know it'd be kind of neat thinking like someday if I if I keep this long enough, and uh, you never know where your tools will end up. You go to auctions and uh, and stores and things, and you see old used tools, and you know because it's burnt in the wood, maybe someday somebody would see that and know who the owner is. It's kind of neat idea just to think about. Um, you know, we don't ever really own anything; we're just stewards of it while we're here and then it passes on to the next people. Um, and speaking of that, I've thought about getting a couple more uh, small axes like this, uh, one for each of my sons, and wood burning their name in it, um, and the date when I give it to them as a gift. So they've got birthdays coming up this summer, and that, that might be something we'll do. Um, but it was a fun project. I appreciate you watching, and uh, we'll keep you posted. There's always something going on at the farmhouse. See you later.